What's up guys, Nerdy Give here and welcome to episode three of Stashpedia in my Funko Pops. I went back to my old house this past weekend and I got a few boxes of Funko Pops and uh, I wanted to go ahead and put them on my Stashpedia. So, um, as you can see, my Funko Pops are trying to explode off this bookshelf. I need it build my other bookshelf, but I'm lazy, and it's not that I'm lazy, it's I have other better things to do. Like, I'd rather stash PD in my pops and build the bookshelf, but I know that I need to build the bookshelf soon. Soon I will build the bookshelf. But I know you guys love these stash PD videos, and I love them as well, and I love adding Funko Pops to my collection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these boxes on the floor. I know I usually do this while sitting on the floor, but I didn't, honestly, I didn't want to mess with my camera setup because I feel like I finally got it to where I like it. So I'm going to leave the camera there and I'm going to pull the pops out. We'll stash PD them and I'll stack them on the table here because then afterwards I got to stack them over in the here because these are the ones that have been put in. I actually have pops in the corner that I'll try to remember to also stash PD in this video as well. Okay, probably should have charged my phone first because it's dying, but let's see how long my phone lasts. How about this? We'll go as long as my phone lasts. It's at 30% and then we'll go from there. Okay, here's the first set of pops. Some of these are gonna be really old because they're from my collection for the past three years, you know, so. Okay, first pop that we have is, oh, the corner's kind of dented. I'm not gonna lie, I did a bad thing and I think a lot of these pops were stacked on top of each other, so that kind of sucks, but the corner on both of these corners are really bad. But we have our Armored Batman. This was a, a DC Legion of Collectors exclusive. Oh, that's too bad. I definitely messed that up a little bit. This one doesn't have a barcode, so I'm gonna have to type it in. Okay, Armored Batman DC Legion of Collectors exclusive. This is $30, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my collection and just be kind of sad that I let the corners get so bad. The corners are really bad, they're like torn. I don't know if it came like that or if I did that, because that's not good. Next we have a mystery pop. This is the one that had the Beetlejuice, Jason Voorhees, and Pinhead. So this is our Pinhead pop. I was wondering, I knew I'd gotten Pinhead. I just didn't know where he was. So we have our Pinhead Hot Topic exclusive. Since this one was in a box, in a box, it didn't have a sticker, so we're gonna go ahead. And I know I've been kind of like wavering on if I wanna keep them in this box. This box is super yellowed, because it's super old, but I'm gonna take it out of the box right now. We have a Deadpool pop. This is a very regular Deadpool pop. Um, it's so funny how the second series of Deadpool pops was so much better than the first series, but this is Deadpool with his thumbs up. I don't even remember where I got this pop from, to be honest. $11, so pretty basic. Nothing too crazy with that one. We have our Hot Topic exclusive Bullseye Batman and Zebra Pop. The um, front here is a little bit dented. So we have a two pack. Let's go ahead and get this added. Oh, that won't be in there, so we gotta search it. This is only worth $15. Let's guess how much I paid for this. $24.50. Sometimes we get lucky with our pops becoming more valuable in, in the future, and sometimes we don't. Oh, we have our mystery. This is the first set of mystery pops that I ever bought from Funko. Oops, I just ripped this box. Good thing we don't care. Oh, this is our chase. I don't remember. Did someone send this to me? Somebody must have sent this to me because I don't remember actually pulling this. We have a Harley Quinn chase. Now, this box is fairly dented. Um, there's some creasing on the front and the back, but it's okay because I'm going to add this to my collection. This is the black and white. I don't think these are worth anything anymore. This one's worth $31. So we have our Harley Quinn. That was our chase. That was like the mystery chase for the black and white. Here is when we had the Joker, Superman, and the Flash. And then this one is probably, which one have we not? I don't know if we've pulled any of these. This is Superman. So black and white Superman. God, this is from such a long time ago. That's one of my best, I think it's actually one of my most viewed videos, to be honest. But I definitely didn't pull the Harley Quinn from that video. I remember not being able to get it because I don't think I knew what the chase was. Okay, Superman, black and white. This guy is $12, so nothing too fancy for that one. All right, the next box we have. Oh, so many pops. Okay, we have Arnold from Hey Arnold. Man, I got so many of these from Hot Topic, I have to type them in. Okay, Arnold is worth $9. Pretty, that one's pretty straightforward. I'm trying to think of which ones I got from Hot Topic so I don't have to type it in. Okay, we have Vice Adam Admiral Haldo. This is the one that wasn't in the original set and then just popped up. It's not technically 
a Hot Topic exclusive, but they didn't list her on the package. I think they had like forgotten about it or something. My phone is at 18%. I'm gonna have to charge it because there's no way we can't finish so quickly. This is, we haven't done enough. Add to collection, $9. So we have Vice Adderall Haldo. We have Lucius Malfoy. I don't know where I got this one from, but I can scan it, yes. I love when I can scan it, it makes it so much easier. $10 for Lucius. Good job, Lucius. All right, we have our Stitch Pop. This is our Stitch Diamond Collection Pop from Hot Topic. I should have searched through these first and pulled out all of the, um, I should have pulled out all the Hot Topic ones. Oh, I put, I spelt it weird. Okay, Stitch. Oh, they have a flock stitch, that's cool. Stitch Diamond Collection, wow. $30 for Stitch Diamond Collection. That's good value right there. I think it was $14.50. Might need to put a pop protector in that one. Okay, we have our Glow in the Dark Toxic Rick. This is from Target. I can't remember if I got this in a, a mystery box or if I just bought it on its own. $19, that's not too bad, not too shabby. All right, we have our Freddy Funko 8-Bit. This was a Funko shop released during the Christmas time. So let's go ahead and scan this bad boy in. $16, probably not worth it because usually, I'm assuming that was probably $15 plus shipping and everything, it comes out to be like $24 or some, some ridiculous number. All right, we have another Funko shop exclusive during Christmas time. This is Mr. Monopoly, $59. Oh, that's definitely getting a pop protector. So I'll put that with Stitch. This is the, sil that was the silver Mr. Monopoly. I think they came out with a, a couple of their variants. We have our Black Panther Target exclusive. I don't think this one is super valuable because I think you can still get it, but I really like this pop a lot. $10, pretty basic. Oh, my phone's down to 13%. I'm just gonna try to keep going. We have our 8-bit Leonardo. This is still, I think, available on the Funko Shop, but this was technically a Funko Shop release. I think I got all of them when they came out. Why is this not scanning? Come on. Leonardo 8-bit, $17. Again, not the best because I, I can imagine if you bought this from the Funko pop-up shop, or not the, even not even the pop up shop is probably cost at least twenty one to twenty four dollars depending on the shipping. All right, we have our Benny the Ball limited chase. I got this in a subscription box. Somebody, I got this one in a subscription box. I don't remember which one, but it has a pop protector on it. Uh oh, my battery's at ten percent. Ah, sometimes the barcode. Oh yes, and sometimes the barcode doesn't work. This is Benny the Ball red jacket chase. This is worth twenty dollars, so nothing too fancy. I probably could take this one out of the pop protector and give the pop protector to something a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna go downstairs and get my phone cord. Hold on one second. Okay, while I was downstairs, I brought this up. I actually, this is one of the pops that I brought as well. I spit on it, oops, from my house. It was like death trying to get this to my house because I was trying to figure out a way to make sure it was in my car with all my other stuff and not get damaged. This is one of my favorite pops of all time. I'm so glad I had it. You know, there's been some times where I've purchased a couple, like this is from the Disney Treasures box, like. There was a couple months where I purchased more than one box. I wish this month was the one month that I purchased multiple boxes because I would have loved to have an extra one of these to take out of the box because this one's super awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and scan this awesomeness in. This is the um, Disney Treasures Maleficent Dragon version. Oh, so awesome. This doesn't have a barcode, so let me just set that down. Okay, this one's going for $128 right now online, or in Stashpedia, I should say. Oh, for those of you who don't know, Stashpedia is an app. You guys know, a nerdy noob, one word. So I need to, what I'm gonna do is find one of the other six inch pops that I have that has a pop protector, and probably take the pop protector out and put this, pers this person, <laughs> this pop in it because this one I wanna make sure I keep in pristine condition. This is one of my favorite pops. You guys always ask me what my favorite pop is. I don't have an all-time favorite, I don't think, but the Maleficent pop is one of my favorites, for sure. Okay, let's keep going. We have Resistance BB-8 unit. This was a Walmart exclusive. I think I got this online. Very basic, $7. That doesn't surprise me whatsoever though. Okay, we have Tinkerbell Diamond Collection Edition. This was a Hot Topic exclusive, so I have to type it in. No, oh, Diamond Collection 14. There's a Tinkerbell Glitter. I don't know what that means, because I feel like, isn't that what the Diamond Collection is? This one's worth $14. The Diamond Collection Glitter looks exactly like this one, but it's from Hot Topic, I guess. That's weird. It was released in 2014. 
So this one was released in 2017, but the old glitter one, which looks exactly like this was released in 2014. That's kind of funny. All right, we have our witch from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. $10, that's pretty straightforward. I feel like my coworker might love that pop. All right, we got Rhino. This was a Marvel Collector Core exclusive. I actually really like this pop. I don't know why, because it looks so strange, I think, because I like the, how he's just wearing, like he's like in a rhino suit, and that just, I don't know, that intrigues me for some reason. He is worth $28, not too shabby. Add to collection. Okay, we have our Norbert pop. If you guys saw, I, I just unboxed the flocked version of him. Oh, he's from Hot Topic, so I gotta type it in. <sighs> Hot Topic. Okay, regular Norbert, he's only worth $7. This is probably one of the best bang for your buck pops you can get. This guy is heavy and huge and dense. I'm just saying, like if you really wanna get your money's worth, that's a good one to get. We have our Mickey Mouse Diamond Collection Pop. I just unboxed one of these in my P.O. Box presents. That one was actually damaged, so I'll probably take that one out of the box, and this one will probably stay in the box because this one's in good condition. Oh, this is another Hot Topic one, so I gotta type it in. Mickey Mouse Diamond, $26. I can't wait to get all of my diamond collection pops in one room because, I don't know, that's just one of the things that I've collected throughout the past few years. All right, we have our Daggett pop. Who do you think is worth more, Daggett or Norbert? Or do you think they're worth the same? $7, they are worth the same. Another good bang for your buck one. Not as good as Norbert though, just saying. All right, and then we have our Dumbo diamond collection pop from Hot Topic. Man, all these pops from Hot Topic. $30, that's not bad, not bad at all. Then we have this box. This is actually a mixture of stuff because, well, actually there's a lot of Funko Pops in here. This is like a big thing of stuff I got from the loot crate vault, the loot vault. So we'll just put in the Funko Pops that we have. So we have our Aguilar Crunch Crouching, and this is from Assassin's Creed. To be 100% honest, the reason I got this is because it was on sale and I wanted to have some cool giveaways for people. This is worth $2. So I'm not gonna actually add that to my collection, but this was for if people liked Assassin's Creed, I could give them pops. We also have our Han Solo Loot Crate. This was the one that ended up in FYE store. I don't know if you guys remember that. They like bought out all the stuff. How much do you guys think this one's worth? I can't imagine it's worth a whole lot. $2 as well. That sounds about right. I'm pretty sure I got these really cheap. The last one that I got really cheap is the Dr. Emmett Brown, and this is from Back to the Future. $10, okay, with jumper, with jumper cables. That's not bad, I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, I already had one in my collection. When, when did I put that in my collection? I don't even remember that. I literally don't remember ever adding him to my collection, did I? I guess so, okay. I don't remember him at all. So we'll set that aside. I do have another one. I think I might either give this to T or I might leave it for my giveaway. Um, just to just show you guys some of the other stuff, I have my Hulk Q-Fig, which is cool. And then I also got the Doctor Strange Q-Fig, which is also pretty cool, especially now that I actually like Doctor Strange. There's some other like random stuff. I got a Kid Robot, um, Homer Simpson, and a Vault Boy bobblehead. So yeah, I definitely got that stuff from the loot. Vaults. Okay, this is the last box. I need to figure out how to make these videos not so long because they're quite long. Okay, I shoved a bunch of, I think this was my sister's, I don't know where she got this box from. I think it was like a fossil box, but I put all my Funko Pops in it because it was a great box to do it in. Okay, we have our Iron Man Tales of Suspense number 40. This is from our Marvel Collector Core box. This guy's going for $32. That is great. We have our Remus Lupin Funko Pop. And this was a Hot Topic exclusive. Wow, this pop is going for $47? Why? Why is it going for $47? That's a really cool pop. I'm just surprised that that's going for so much. We have our Ickes Con exclusive. This one's not worth that much because they actually still have it available. Like, I think you can still get it. Oh, I can't scan it. No, I hate having to, no, it's the worst. Okay, $18. That's not too bad, but I think this guy's still available. I swear I still see him at Hot Topic stores, which is fun. All right, we have Porg. This is just regular Porg from the, is this from The Last Jedi? I think so. The Chase is going for 12, the regular is going for nine. This is one of the ones that I bought from Entertainment Earth where I bought like a crap ton of them to try to get the Chase, which I did get. Okay, we have Aquaman. This is a Legion of Collector exclusive. This box is a teeny bit dinged up and it's bulging because he's so big, like he's so big. Sorry, I haven't been doing a good job of showing you the, the pops, my bad, sorry. Ugh, oh, there's no bark. Ugh. 
All right, this one's going for $34. It's called Aquaman Wave, because he's, you know, making the wave come up. All right, we have our Bob Ross Pop. pop. This is the one with the big paintbrush, $7. We have our Luna Lovegood in her lion costume, or her headdress, her Gryffindor lion headdress. Oh, it's a Hot Topic Pop. No, that's going for $11. Oh, wow, the Luna Lovegood with her glasses. I don't remember if I was able to get my hands on that one, but that one's going for $81. That's a really cool pop. I don't think I was able to get that one. I forgot, what is that an exclusive with? Hot Topic. Dang, I don't think I got that one. It doesn't look familiar. That sucks, that's a cool pop. I really like it a lot. Does anyone remember if I got it? I can't remember. Okay, we have this pop. It has a price tag on it for $14.95. This is a Rogue One Death Star droid. And it's a fall convention exclusive. Barnes and Noble. It's only worth $13, so I over overpaid for that one. Okay, we have our Bob Ross with his paint palette. I can imagine that this one's probably pretty basic, just like the other one, because I got this from Target as well. No, why are you not finding any of these? Come on, Stashpedia. Regular Bob Ross, $11. Oh, that's not bad, actually, for just a common pop. We have another Porg. This is the same Porg, so I'm not gonna add that. Actually, put that to the side. We have our Gellert Grindelwald pop. This was a con exclusive from last fall. I think from Barnes & Noble as well. Oh, he's going for $44. Wow, that's fancy, $44. Barnes & Noble pops are really hard to get. They really are. You gotta get them right when they come out. You gotta try to get them in the store. This is Ryuk from Death Note. Probably won't keep this one in my collection. He's worth $9. I'm gonna set that one to the side for right now as well. And we have another pork. Told you, that's what happens when I buy all my pops from Entertainment Earth. Okay, now if you've been watching the channel for the past few days, then you probably saw all these next pops that I'm gonna bring up, but um, let me put them on the table first. Okay, some of these pops I just unboxed. Some of them actually just came from downstairs because I had a party this weekend. So I wanted to bring all my pops upstairs so they weren't just downstairs in the way. So um, we're going to do our flocked Norbert and Daggett. That's our FYE exclusive. That's going for $39. I think that's pretty good because I want to say this was like $25. We have, of course, our Snap, Crackle, and Pop Pop from the Funko Shop, which is exciting because that one was pretty hard to get. I don't think this one's in Stashpedia yet, so I'm going to set that one to the side. It's not popping up. We have our Zenyatta from Overwatch. I think I got that in one of my mystery boxes. Going for $9. I actually... Well, I like this because it's like a robot thing. What do you guys think? I'll add it to my collection for right now. But I do think I might take that out of the pop protector and put that with a different pop. We have our Western Morty. That was a con exclusive summer, the summer convention. convention. Sorry, I'm really far away from the camera. $12. We have our White Rose from Mr. Robot. I'm pretty sure this was only worth like not very much. $10. I'm gonna set that to the side. I don't think I'm gonna keep that one. We have our Ed Sheeran, which I think I already put this one in my collection, I wanna say. Yes, $14. But this one's in good condition with the pop protector, so I'm just gonna add a duplicate for right now. I haven't figured out how I wanna handle that yet. I think I am gonna create another account, though. We have Western Morty, another con exclusive. GameStop, oh, $13. Oh, I already have this one. Okay, we'll add a second one. I actually wanna give one to my, um, co-worker who likes Rick and Morty. We just got our Ellen DeGeneres pop that hopefully you watch that mystery boxing because I, I didn't actually write that in the title. $19. Okay, add to collection. Oh shoot, I shouldn't add this to collection because then everyone's gonna know. Oh no. Okay, I just took it out of my collection. Dang it, people are gonna see that. Ah! I'll add that to my collection next time. Oh shoot, I didn't even think about that. That's awful. Ah, oh, our Snow White Diamond is not scannable, so I need to search it manually. $13. We have our Wonder Woman, which is not in here. <laughs> That's an empty box. We have our Sentinel Mar Armed Morty. I don't know if I've already put this one in the box. I can't remember. $6. I'm going to add this to collection, but I think I might give that away to my coworker as well, who likes Rick and Morty. And then we do have our Iron Man convention, summer convention pop, which is awesome. I like this one a lot. This was like one of the main pops I wanted to get from this summer con. $18. Oh, I already, I already have them. I don't remember putting any of these in my collection. I'm gonna add a duplicate. Okay, and then we have our five flocked set from Fraggle Rock. I know this one's in here because I looked at it earlier. $81, so add that to collection. 
I'm running out of space. And then the last pop that we're gonna do tonight is our Hercules and Pegasus pop ride. $23, add that to collection. I just realized that I shouldn't have like I done all this just now because anyone who, well if you follow me on Stashpedia then you definitely got a sneak peek of the pops because yeah. Anyways, I forgot to show you guys what my collection looked like before we did this video because I'm terrible at it. But now my collection is 210 pop strong and you can't see anything. There it goes. And the value is like 4,000 or something. I can't see. It was like, I think it was like 3,000 before 3,500. So now we're at 4,600. And there's actually adorbs that I got in my P.O. Box presents video. Oh shoot, I just knocked all those over. Oh crap, that was my own pop. Ah, and my snap crack on pop pop. Um, I do have this Oh no, I already added that one, my Abu. Yes, okay, never mind. that one's already added. All right, oh, these videos are so long. That's all I have for you in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this series, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Stashpedia as well, nerdy noob, one word, and you can keep track and up to date with my collection. I think I'll probably make a secondary one soon for all of my extra pops and duplicates and things that I just don't want to keep in my collection, all that stuff, giveaway pops, whatever. It's They're all like kind of living over on that side of the room. Um, but definitely follow me if you're interested. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it, that's it. This is a very long video. Uh, Thanks for watching, let's do a video shout out. I'm a little bit flustered, I'm a little bit tired. It's 10 o'clock, I need to go to bed. Let's see, let's see, video shout out, video shout out. Who's getting the video shout out? Oh, good thing, oh, you guys already saw the Fraggle Rock because I already posted that video. Boop, 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 boop. Today's video shout out's gonna go to, I'm gonna give it to Yvonne Zapata. Yvonne, I think you're the one who, um, does a lot of Facebook comments as well, I think. Are you the one who Facebook comments me all the time? I appreciate it. Yvonne Zapata, you get the video shout. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, supporting my channel. Thank you so much for supporting all of my social medias because I'm pretty sure you are an avid Facebook follower and I appreciate that greatly. You just, um, you just commented on my video 33 minutes ago, so you said, do you have any more old packages to unbox? I have tons, and I have tons of P.O. Box ones, so just be on the lookout, because that's coming soon. Yvonne, I want to give you the video shout out, so shout out to you, Yvonne Zapata, shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.